What's up YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install um, Ocarina of Time 3D Randomizer on Android. So if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is going to be in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so you are going to need a Windows PC for this because you still need to access Citra on PC to get one thing. Um, so you're going to need, of course, the Ocarina of Time 3D game file. You're going to need the Ocarina of Time 3D randomizer file. And you're going to need Citra installed on your PC and on your phone. I'm not going to show you how to install Citra on PC or phone. It's pretty self-explanatory. On Windows, you just go to Google, type in Citra. And then on Android, you go to the Google App Store and or Google Play Store and type in Citra and it will give you the file to download. Now another thing I should note is that um, Citra on Android doesn't have full support for Kirin GPUs and my Huawei P30 Pro has a Kirin G GPU so it's gonna look like crap when I show you the actual randomizer on my phone but I digress. Uh, I'm also gonna point out now that do not ask me or anyone to share the game file in my comment section. Any comments like that will be friggin' deleted, because I am so sick on the original tutorial of having people ask me where to download the friggin' game from. It is illegal to share ROM files. So do not ask, because it's stupid. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in. Like I said, you need to have Citra installed on your PC, because you need to open the game on here once, just to get one thing. So you want to go to emulation and go to cheats and you need your title ID which is this number up here. Um, you need that to install the mods on the Android version. So now that we've done that let's jump to my phone and I will show you what we do next. So on your phone's um, file explorer so you want to go to files and you want to go to your phone storage and go to where the Citra folder is. This will be created when you install Citra. Now, next you want to create a folder called load, as I have here. So, you just want to open that folder. Inside there, create another folder called mods. And inside that, create another folder with the string of numbers that is your title ID. I have absolutely no idea whether or not the title ID will match everyone else's American version, because you need to use the American version. The European and Japan versions will not work. It has to be the American, North American version. So just type your title ID as the file and then you want the folder created. That's where your mods are going to go. So assuming that you've put your uh, ROM file for the game and the 3DSX file for the randomizer program in a location you know, then we're going to go to the Citra emulator. And then we're going to open up these. Now in order to get them to show like this, just go to the folder and select game folder. This will be basically where you select your um, the, the location where your game files are. So I've put mine in Citra and I created a folder called games. So I just put select this directory and boom, they appear there. Next, uh, you're going to want to enter the uh, 3DS randomizer. I will link the 3DS randomizer file in the description below. But like I said, I will not be linking any game files since I did not illegally download mine. Mine is a... A rip from my modified 3DS because I had a North American account. Alright, I've also connected my uh, Switch Pro controller just for ease of access because my buttons somehow disappeared on Citra Mobile. So, once you've created your settings, I'm going to quickly go create some. So, let's go there. Oh, no. No. Um, we want to have Glitchless, Forest Open, Door of Time Open, Zora's File Normal, Critter Fortress, Rainbow Bridge. Let's make that. I make my medallions and all six of them. Because, yeah, I'm a boss like that. Off. Trial count zero. Alright, let's go out of that one. World settings. Just basically change these to whatever you want your randomizer to be. You know, less settings equals less chaotic. More settings, way more chaotic. Uh, but these are just settings I like to do. So, just bomb tree drops on. Uh, no Master Quest dungeons, because screw Master Quest dungeons. They suck. They don't suck. They're just brutal. Uh, shuffle settings, so end of oh no, end of dungeon. Uh, but basically, once you've done this, and you've got all your settings done, so shop sanity at random, but well no, shop sanity will set to 
yeah, random. Sorry, token sanity dungeons. Scrub shuffle on affordable. Uh, I don't shuffle any of this stuff. Uh, shuffle dungeon items. Uh, maps compasses start with all the stuff in the Ganon's boss key start with. You don't want to randomize Ganon's boss key. Screw that. Time saver settings. These are all just skips, you know, to skip stuff like child stealth and ga uh, castle escape and stuff like that. Uh, exclude locate. You can exclude certain locations if you don't like doing something like fishing. I exclude fishing. Uh, detailed logic, which you. Eh. Don't need to mess with that. Don't mess with starting inventory. Miss settings. Need nothing for hints. All this looks good. Item pool settings. Now, the one thing I don't know is where the spoiler log generates to. I have no clue where that goes, so don't ask me that in the comments. I have no idea. Uh, but all this stuff looks good. So we're going to generate randomizer. Or Citra emulator. A lot of people in the original video for Windows got confused on this. You want to hit Citra emulator because that will randomize the correct files for Citra. So it'll take a few seconds to do. It doesn't take too long. Alright, and now it's done. So once you've done that, you just want to quickly quit out of the game. And then you want to open up your files again. Because in files, you want to go back to the Citra Emu folder. And you want to go to SDMC, Luma, Titles. This is, again, the title ID of your game. And these are the files that you need. So just copy all of them, or move them. And then you want to select it to your other location. So let's go to Citra Emu, uh, load, mods, that folder, and select that directory. That moves all of the randomizer files to that directory. So now they're all in the right place, we should definitely have OOT3D rando working. But I'll show you quickly anyway. So let's go back to Citra and open up Ocarina of Time. Like I said, this is going to run like crap because my phone just doesn't have the right GPU for it. So let's enter it. 3D randomizer, so that's working. Uh, let me create, this was a test one I did last night. Uh, so I'll just call this one link as well. Yes. Save complete, and we start with Fire Medallion. So we know that the rando is working on that front. Let's just open a few chests and see what happens. Oh gosh. These dead zones are not working right on my controller. I hadn't tested it, so we'll just kind of slow walk it. It's fine. Like I said, it's going to run and play like absolute crap because it just... Citra Emulator on Android does not have proper um, Kirin support. It's really weird. Oh my gosh, this is going to take all day. What is wrong with these dead zones? What is freaking wrong with these dead zones, dude? I don't know where my buttons disappeared to, so I can't even use them on screen. I don't know where they went. They were working fine last night. You can do it, Link. I believe in you. I believe in the power of the walk. But no, I don't have a bad phone. My phone came out in 2019. Um, I got it brand new when it came out, and it's a great phone. It runs most games at, like, max settings on Android, but for whatever reason, Citra Emulator just does not have full support for Kirin chips. And because mine's a Huawei P30 Pro, it runs a Kirin chipset, which is really annoying for stuff like this because it just doesn't run well. And this is because the game is really lagging, by the way, the walking. It's just because it's not accepting the dead zones on my Pro Controller very well. Let's open a chest. We get a blue rupee, open up another chest. Gold school token. So we have now confirmed that the randomizer is working on Android. So if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is going to be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.